Hello, welcome. This is Marzul, and I'm going to be setting up a self-sustaining will crystal setup. All right, so the first thing you'll notice is I have dug out a chunk. So I've got chunk boundaries on with F9. Uh, you do not want this to spill outside of one chunk. Now, right at the middle of this chunk, I'm going to place a master ritual stone, and I'm going to set up a ritual of peaceful souls. So what this does is it spawns passive mobs at the cost of life essence, which is not particularly expensive um, unless your life essence is pretty lacking in which case you probably want to go fix that before you do this now i'm going to activate this and it's going to slowly start to spawn mobs now the next step is we need to start generating crystals so we're going to put go up about four blocks and put a master ritual stone you don't want to be too much lower than this because this ritual will extend downward and the next one we're going to build is also going to extend downward <clears throat> so I'm going to take my Gathering of Forsaken Souls next and build this here. So what this does is it kills mobs slowly, and when they die, it uses that to help speed up the growth of will crystals. It does not generate will by itself. This is really, really important. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually place a block right here in the middle, and I'm going to place another master ritual stone on top this one is going to use a resonance of the faceted crystal we might as well get this set up now so we're going to kind of start with this so build this here and it will actually interlock with the ritual below it which is really nice so if you look it actually will fit in perfectly again we're going to activate this now our next step is to get a demon crystallizer and place that right here you only need one demon crystallizer for this entire setup you do not need more than that um, because you can actually just build the crystals by hand now if you do not have the will capacity in your tartaric gem to build them by hand you will need more crystallizers so keep that in mind all right now what's going to happen here is that eventually if we put will into this chunk it will kill these mobs which i did not activate it today it will kill these mobs, and as they die, it will start to build crystals. But you'll notice I have a will gauge on. In the top left, there is no will in this chunk. So to fix that problem, we are going to build a little platform right here. And I'm going to put down some demon crucibles. You actually need five of them eventually. But to start, just one is okay. Let me grab a couple more. All right, so we've got five, one for each of the different types. Like I said, to start, you only need one. If you're not planning on doing the other types, then you can kind of skip this and skip the uh, faceted crystal, but you're going to need them eventually. You might as well set it up now. All right, the next step here is I'm going to put a tartar gem with at least a few hundred will in it. More is better. I would go, I don't know, at least a couple thousand just to get started so you don't have to do anything else. Put that in here, and what's going to happen is eventually... This chunk is going to drain the will and build a crystal. The first crystal takes the longest. So I'm going to cut and come back once a crystal has grown. All right, I'm back. A crystal has grown, and it's actually starting to branch off. We still need to wait. This, when it fills up all of its branches, is going to split one of each other color onto those rune stones right there. So right now, it's just basically a waiting game. And then there you go. So at this point, we now have one of each crystal. We need six of each crystal. So we're just going to continue waiting. This is going to keep filling up. It's going to keep building these up. And we're going to wait until all of these are completely full before we do anything else. All right, so I'll be back. All right, so right now, all of the smaller ones are full. The top one's not quite there yet, but that's actually OK. We need completely full demon will. So once this has finished off, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to break all of these. I'm going to break down that ritual, and then we're going to move on to our next step. You'll notice I've also put down a platform here just to make this a little bit easier to work with. All right, so that's done. You'll notice it is not splitting anymore. That means these are all finished. So I'm just going to break that, break this, break each of these. Then I'm going to take a ritual dismantler and just right click twice don't hit those ones so the first thing I'm going to do is set up barrels for each of these 
will types and stick them in and lock them. Make sure that they're locked before you start doing anything else. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do is we are going to craft one of each type of crystal. So I'm actually gonna put my floor back. And to do that, we are going to take a Hellfire Forge. Again, it just has to be in the same chunk. We're going to put our Tartaric Gem, and it's actually going to suck up any excess will that's in the chunk, so I'm just going to let it fill back up. And we are going to take four of each type of will. Now, what we're going to do with this will is we're going to just put them like this, and it's going to craft a crystal. So I'm going to actually time in a bottle this. That way this goes much quicker. And steadfast. Now the reason we wanted six is so that we have extra of each of these. Three is perfect. It's going to get us kind of going. I'm now going to take these five crystals and I'm just going to set them down. All right, at this point, we're basically good to go generating will. So to get the will in the chunk, we need to feed these into those crucibles. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up conduits on each of these. Item conduits work just perfectly. All of these need to be insert on green. You'll see why in a minute. And they need to be extract on five different colors other than green. So I'm gonna do brown, blue, purple, Cyan, I think the last one's light gray. Yep. Then, see these are locked, make sure you do that first. We're going to take this and we're going to come across and into each crucible. This is going to be brown, blue, purple, cyan, and light gray. So at this point, we now have demon will going into each of these. And you'll see these are starting to grow. Now, the big problem here is that we have to harvest these. And doing it by hand is tedious and kind of a big pain. Now, you can do that if you're really low on ritual stones. But instead, we're going to pop down here. And you'll notice all this garbage here. We're going to place another master ritual stone right below this one. We are going to get the crack of the fractured crystal. And we are going to build this ritual. And it again locks in with the other ones. This is actually a really important tip here is that each of the rituals lock in with the other ones. And you'll notice that it makes kind of a nice symmetrical shape. We're going to activate this, and what's going to happen is the crystals up there are going to start breaking, which is kind of annoying, because we don't have a way to collect this. But you'll see it's breaking, and it's leaving the one crystal there. Our next step is to get a chest. I'm going to put it... Let's just go up from this by one. Put a chest there. And we're going to use an advanced item collector with a filter with each of the five types. So we'll do that, put a filter in, and go five, five that direction. That should be fine. This is going to start to grab these in a minute. I'm going to take off my magnet ring, or off my magnet. And what will happen is these will slowly start to fill up. We're then going to extract from here on green to stick it into the barrels. This will let you build up a buffer. And at that point, you have all five wills completely self-sustaining without having to do anything else. So this will push them there, which will push them there, which will generate will. And if you watch just for a minute, you'll notice the will in the chunk is changing. And that is because it's eating the will and pumping it into here. Now, one thing to note 
is that if any of them stall out, kind of like my regular demon will has done, you may need to jumpstart this process again. So a Tartaric gem is usually the best way to do it. Mine is running out because I have a Tartaric gem in here kind of sucking it all up. So I'm going to stick that in here and supplement this. So that will fill up. Each of these will start to grow. They will break and go into there. And this should be self-sustaining at this point. And you only need a little. I would let this run with just one of each crystal until there's about a stack of each. Once you have a stack of each, then you can start to build more crystals. The more crystals you have, the faster this process goes, but having a buffer before you do that is nice, just in case it dips and you get some bad RNG. Um, the other really important thing is accelerate this a few times, because this will speed up the process to just get you jump started. And again, once you start building up will, then it becomes much easier to handle. And we are slowly gaining will. Now the normal is going to take a minute to catch back up just because I drained so much of it with my Hellfire Forge. And again, once this is built up, stick your Tartaric gem in and you can start filling it back up. All right, great. Thanks so much.